What is up guys, Tanner back from GT's Outdoors channel. Got a uh, cool video for you guys today. Um, sorry about the lack of videos lately. It has been icy and cold and snowy and rainy for uh, like two weeks now here. So haven't really done a lot of outside stuff and been working a lot. Uh, just uh, trying to stay indoors. So doing an indoor video today. Um, it's a little later in the year, but this is going to be the 2022 uh, knife collection video um, of everything I had at the end of 2022. So um, here it is, guys. Um, I like doing these knife collection videos. I used to watch them a lot when I was younger. I always thought they were like really cool for whatever reason. Um, now I just think it's kind of fun to do. So starting off, first one here. This is just a little old timer, a little cheapy old timer. Came in a set. Um, a little cheap nylon sheath, unfortunately. Never really used it. Just got it because it was an old timer. And I collect old timers and Uncle Henry's. Um, next up is the old timer. Nice leather sheath. This is the mountain lion. I have used this one a good bit. There's still mud stuck to it. I need to clean that up, but no big deal right now. Uh, my favorite old timer they've ever had is the, the Deer Slayer. I have, I've had a couple of them. This is my replacement one for the last one I had. So it's had a little bit of use, nothing crazy, but uh, I really like these knives. Super comfortable, comes with a nice sheath. That's the one thing I really do like about them for the price. You get a pretty nice sheath for a pretty cheap price. This is Sharp Finger. This is my original one I've had since I was a kid. Um, I really like this knife. I've had it for a long, long time. Never really used it as much as I should, but still a pretty nice knife. Um, that's all the old timers I have. This is Uncle Henry Pro Hunter. Um, it's a good look at it there. It's the old generation uh, Staglon. It's not the new gen. Um, you can tell the difference. I'm going to set that next to this guy here. Or, well, either one. This is the Oak Skinner. Um, Got some corrosion there. I never really used this one. I just bought it because it was an Uncle Henry. I might actually try skinning with that a little bit this year. I don't know. Uh, this is Golden Spike. I EDC'd this knife for a while. I like it. Um, it's comfortable. I do like the uh, profile of the blade and everything. I don't really carry it anymore as my primary uh, knife on my belt, but I will... Uh, Probably go back to it at some point. This is a little caping knife. Um, I use it as a squirrel knife, so I got blood on it and shit, but um, just my little squirrel rabbit knife. Uh, this is another Uncle Henry Skinner, the new gen stuff. Pretty nice. Um, I don't really use it much. I've carried it a few times, but I don't really care for how thin it is. Just kind of square. Um, these two you guys saw in the last one if you watched it. These are over here a little bit both these are um the d2 real antler uncle henry's and um, this is just the little yeah here really nice never have used it this one just uh hard to find so just have never used this one do really like it though this is this one i use a lot this is my main skinning knife anymore uh i got it at a little bit of a deal because somebody had cut through that unfortunately but it's my main skinning knife. I really like it. It is awesome. It's got almost like an Ulu blade on it. Real uh, real stag handle, and uh, it's D2 tool steel as well. So that is my main skinning blade. Um, that is it for the Uncle Henry's and Old Timers. Um, move you on down the line here. I'm just going to pick up the tripod. I'm not going to edit everything, guys. Move you on down the line here. I'll set up there. Get that out of the way. All right, this is a little Sheffield Skinner. Um, I liked the blade on it. Um, it was like 20 bucks, imitation antler. Um, comes with a little stone, which I would probably never use, but whatever. Um, it's got like a vinyl sheath. They're not real leather, but not terrible. Um, this is another Sheffield, same thing with... Uh, it's kind of this thin blade on it. I kind of like that full tang. So, I don't know. 
never really did anything with this. Just kind of bought it to have it. Um, I did carry this really heavily a couple years ago. This is a Marbles Drop Point Hunter, um, which I'm a little disappointed with it because the uh, pommels actually come loose on it, um, which kind of sucks. So it's just electrical taped back on there just to keep it tight. Um, it's sharp now. It, uh, it's an all right knife. Um, good beater. It's got a horn handle. I do like the sheath, though. It's got a big cuff on it, so you can just drop it right in. Pretty nice. Um, I was using this as a skinny knife, but you can't get them hardly anymore. This is a blackjack uh, skinner. Pretty nice. Uh, real antler handle with some stacked wood and a brass guard. I really like the sheath. It is really thick leather. I don't know if you guys can get a good view of that. Pretty thick stuff. Uh, it's nice and sharp. It works really well. Um, I do like that knife quite a bit. Um, this is a little beat to hell. I was carrying this pretty heavily. Um, this is a cheapy beater. Um, it's a North American hunting club. It's got like a picture of a deer on there and stuff. Uh, it's a good little skin and blade. It's pretty, you know, pretty thin handles. I think they're jig bone, um, aluminum pommel. It's like a rat tang, but overall not too bad um i do like it as a little beater um knife i was carrying it for squirrels and whatnot and it seemed to work pretty good uh, i got this little mossy oak set the one sheath came apart um but there's that one it's a little stacked leather deal uh same thing with the larger one i wound up cutting off the strap when i was younger because they fit pretty tight but same same deal just cheap mossy oak wally world uh set you can buy this is out of a walmart set here this is just a cheap mossy oak uh fixed blade with a uh, fake antler handle but nothing to write home about i actually did carry that for a short time as a beater and it wasn't ever that bad it wasn't uh wasn't great but it wasn't bad all right move you guys down the line again here Ugh. All right, there's a knife I made when I was a kid. Um, it was one of the first knife sheaths I made that looked like crap, but I actually made this just a blade blank with a piece of antler. Nothing really special. I used it quite a bit, but uh, you know, I just kind of held on to it because I made it when I was a kid. I thought it was you know, pretty cool. So, whatnot. My grandpa's uh, hunting knife, um, super old carbon steel. Uh, bone handles, pretty nice. It's nice and sharp. Um, it uh, it's definitely had some wear on it, but uh, pretty nice. The original sheath and everything. And uh, then his fishing knife is next to that. Just a cheapy piece of crap fishing knife. Um, I just kept it because it was his. Um, believe it or not, it is USA made. I think that's kind of funny. Probably won't focus. It's in a cheap little knife kit sheath or whatever. Uh, Boker Safari XD. Still have yet to carry this one. Uh, it's 440 steel. You know, a cheaper steel. Um, it's a really comfortable knife. But uh, Rat Tang. Uh, it's a nice looking knife. But a little disappointed with the sheath. That's the main reason why I decided not to carry it. It's like a vinyl sheath. It's not really uh, leather. Which for a fifty dollar knife, I think is kind of kind of bullshit, but is what it is. Next to that, got the old uh, fake buck, the Harbor Freight buck, uh, the Gordon something. Actually, not a terrible knife. Uh, I really don't mind it at all. It uh, feels like my old buck that I used to have, and for half the price, third of the price, whatever it. Uh, it works fine. The sheath's actually leather. It's nice. Fits it well. All right. Pretty nice little package. Can't complain. Uh, Smith & Wesson HRT boot knife. Um, don't really use it for anything. I mean, it's just kind of a novelty item, but um, is what it is. Sometimes I keep it in my truck, uh, in the door, just in case I need it. Um, some unbranded right, Pakistan just uh, 
junky knife. I don't know. Had it forever. Bought it at a gun show when I was a kid. Thought it was cool. I don't know. Um, old Mora. I've had this thing for a long time. Um, starting to uh, wear the blade down there. I can't find one in this color anymore, um, which I liked it because I'd never seen it before. I think you got it from Smoky Mountain Knife Works back in the day. Um, the handle's still sticky. Like, not sticky, but like a tacky rubber. I like it. Works good. Um, knife my, uh, one of my family members made um, out of a file. Pretty neat. I found the original sheath for it. Um, it uh, has definitely been sharpened down from what it originally was because it was used, but uh, that is the original sheath for it. At least that's what I've been told. Move you guys down again. Um, this is a Rough Rider. I think it's like the Big Belly Skinner. I don't really care for it. Still got shit on the blade. Um, from the factory, I've never just cleaned off because I've never actually used it. Um, there's a bunch of cracking in the handle, which uh, kind of sucks. It uh, I just don't trust it. So, never really used it. I'm just kind of having to look at it. It's big, cheap. Uh, pretty thick blade, though. Um, pretty thick blade steel. So, probably just a cheap 440 or something. Uh, this is a, my new beater for, uh, just doing whatever. Cause I really just don't give a shit about it. So that's been what I've been wearing around lately. Um, got like a canvas vinyl sheath. It's uh, made in Japan, uh, for the Huntsman, um, special 420 stainless. Um, I like it. You can choke up on it. Uh, pretty decent thickness on the tang there. It's full tang. Um, big cheapy. I like it. Um, they were made under a bunch of different names, Max Am and uh, the Huntsman, and I, I want to say like the Daniel Boone and something else, but a whole bunch of just cheap, you know, knife makers, rebranded them, uh, Impact Custom, um, really nice knife, never used it, paid a lot of money for it, I really like it, I wish I could find a second one because I would probably use it, everything's file worked, I mean, it's, it's a nice knife. So, uh, it's got a dangler on the, uh, sheath. Sheath's really, really nice leather. So I just kind of hold on to that one. Um, keep going here. Got a Winchester double barrel buoy. Um, not full tang, but pretty good size buoy and uh, an old mossy oak. Uh, buoy sheath. I used to have a mossy oak buoy that uh, I no longer have, and it was better than the sheath that this thing came with, so I just said fuck it and kept the uh, sheath for that one. Milwaukee duck knife. Um, I don't know. I bought it years ago because I thought it was cool. It's really not all that cool. Never really used it for anything. Um, SOG Seal 2000. I uh, really like this knife. Never used it. Um, super thick spined. Really nice knife. Um, probably won't ever use it. Probably will just hold on to it. Um, got it from my grandpa years ago um, as a gift. Let's see here. Snap this guy up. All right. Um, this is a uh, trophy stag buoy. Um, real stag. Real thick. Uh, tang on it as far as a uh, rat tang pretty nice um mere polished cheap steel i'm sure yeah it's just 420 steel but uh heavyweight pretty thick blade stock i like it sheath isn't the nicest but it gets the job done considering i don't really carry it or anything um what's next here fox and hound buoy leather sheath these little things on it I guess these are little cast aluminum beads or some bullshit. Uh, just big, cheap buoy. Uh, made in Pakistan, I think. Yeah. So, just a uh, big, cheap buoy. Something cool to look at. Um, I've actually uh, used it before, but, I mean, it's nothing special. Um, my new big knife I've been carrying around a little bit is the uh, Wild Turkey Handmade um, Arkansas Toothpick. Um, the handle broke on mine the first day I had it, so I made a new handle, um, did a wood handle with, uh, 
end of an antler and then just wrapped it in a uh, bow serving and then uh, this, that, and the other and put it all back together. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but whoever did the grinding on this is blind. Um, they're supposed to be symmetrical. This side is big and curved. This side's nice and straight. Um, haven't finished it up yet. You can see I drilled a hole there. Got to put a set screw and clean it all up and make it make it a little bit better than it was, considering it broke. Um, the first day I had it, the sheath is okay quality. Um, I think it's more of a vinyl than a leather on the straps, but it's all right. Um, good for 40 bucks. I mean, the fact that it broke, um, it's kind of some bullshit, but um, it was really cheap wood. Uh, it was like a press board wood. I don't know. It was almost like sawdust put together. Chip away, Grand River buoy, big fantasy buoy. Um, would not use this for anything. Just kind of looks cool on a shelf. Um, if you're into buoy knives, just big, cheap. Buoy would probably come apart if you actually tried to use it. Uh, it's old homemade, kind of buoy, stupidly thick steel. Um, but, I mean, the tang only goes to there. It's just kind of just a big, cheap piece of junk. Um, cold steel, quick and cut hunter. Pull it out here. Just a replaceable blade. Little fixed blade. Pretty nice. Comes with extra blades. You can buy extra blades in all different shapes and sizes. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, this is the Razor Max by Outdoor Edge. This one actually gets a lot of use. Um, with uh, trout. I trout fish a lot. I've been using this as a fillet knife mainly. Um, it's a fillet blown, boning blade in there. Razor Max, replaceable blade. Um, pretty small, pretty thin. Works good. Sheath's nice. Holds uh, extra blades there in the front. So I like it. It's like a 40 or $50 knife. I wouldn't really think it's worth that much money, but it's a nice little blade. Uh, the last of the ones going vertically here. These are the new Walmart cold steel knives. Um, they're made in China. They're probably, I don't know, 420, 440 steel. Um, they're branded cold steel, but they're just a cheap, you know, blade. I like them. They're not terrible for what they are. Um, I got a red one, and then I got, um, just been using, I got this gray one here. So I've been using the red one a little bit, do some kind of my own little testing on it. And it's held up good so far. Uh, really cheap, cheap uh, sheaths, but uh, at least they're branded cold steel. So whatever. Um, this is a marble stacked leather buoy. This thing's junk. Uh, the sheath's actually pretty nice looking and everything. The knife's, the blade doesn't look terrible. I kind of like the blade shape, but the handle is junk. I can take the handle and. I can't really do it that well on camera, but I don't know how you guys can see it, but I could bend the damn handle around the tang. Do not trust that whatsoever, so I've never used it. But it just kind of stays in here because there's no point in getting rid of it. Um, Confederate D-handle buoy. Um, some designer, quote-unquote, um, Southern Pride. Kind of a neat buoy. Never have used it. I wouldn't use it. It's like holding on to a two by four handle. So, um, whatever. It's got a pretty thick leather sheath, but they did a really bad dye job on it. So, whatever. It's a big cheap one just to have. Um, I actually like this one, this next one. Uh, it's about $30 on Amazon. It's the Flissa um, Kukri Machete. They call it a machete. Um, it's more of a big kookery knife, I'd call it. Um, really nice, holds up pretty well, chops really well. It's actually got like uh, some kind of air tech handle where it reduces um, shock when you hit stuff, supposedly. Um, it does feel like it kind of dead in the hand when it when you use it. So, sheath's pretty cool. Um, kind of got this slide in design and then it uh, snaps in there. With uh, two more uh, little snaps here. But well, it's actually pretty nice. Um, I like it. All right, scoot you back down here. Got the Rough Rider 
uh, I don't remember what model this is. Really don't remember, but it's their buoy with a blade guard on it. Um, stacked leather, brass, and I guess this is either polymer or bone. And you can actually see the handle flex a little bit with that stacked leather. Really, really short handle too, but kind of a neat one. Just looks cool. Um, I don't know. I like the sheath too. I bought it just because of for looks. I didn't really buy it to use it or anything. Um, Chipway Cutley, Cutlery uh, Bear Hunter buoy or something like that. Just another big, cheap buoy. Wood-handled. Um, rat tang. Definitely not a full tang. <laughs> they never are with these cheap ones. Um, I don't know. Big, cheap buoy. Thought it was cool at the time. I don't know. When I was younger, I used to buy a lot of those cheap buoys on, you know, for $20, $30. I don't know. I thought they were awesome. Schrade uh, Decimate Machete. It's all right for what it is. About a $30 machete. It uh, it works pretty well. Kind of replaced uh, my Gerber Gator, which you'll see next, as my uh, kind of like weeds and vines and thorn bush chopping machete. So, I like it. Um, for what it is, it's not bad, but it could be a little thicker. Uh, CRKT Spew. Um, still have never used it. Um, thought about running it as a neck knife, just I really have. <clears throat> Some uh, cheap throwing knives. Um, actually, they throw pretty well, believe it or not. Um, I'm not real big into throwing knives, but... Um, Got some buddies who were into it, so I brought them out a couple times just to do that. Um, some cheap frost cutlery thing. I made a sheath four years ago. I thought it was so cool. It's really all that, not all that cool, but a little push dagger. Um, kind of junky. Oh, we have a sog, the uh, sog fari kukri. I like it. Um, I'm a primary woods kookery lately. Um, I've already bent the blade up a little bit, but uh, no big deal. I'm not real worried about it. Um, it's got a pretty nice saw back on it. The saw actually works pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I like it. it. Works good for 30 bucks. I mean, you really can't bitch too much about it. Uh, the handle's grippy. Um, Gerber Gator. I'm not going to pull this one out just because it's long. Well, I guess I will. The only reason I replaced it with that trade is, uh, I've had to grind out quite a bit of, uh, let's see focus here. Bunch of chips and whatnot. This was my main machete for a while. Uh, but I had to grind out a bunch of chips and whatever. I still use it around the house just for, uh, cutting down shit for firewood or whatever, but, um, don't take it out a whole lot. Got this must add fillet knife. I got was getting these out, sharpening them up. I've got a opening day of uh, trout seasons coming up here in uh, March, so I always go. So I just want to make sure all my fillet knives were good. A little must add. It's uh, sharpened on the back as well as the front. It's got a really, really tiny tip there. Um, bought it when I was a kid on vacation. The uh, handle is like a moldable, like gel handle, I guess. Not really. I mean, it comes back to shape, but it, I don't know, kind of goofy. Pretty comfortable, though. I mean, it definitely your hands don't slip on it when they're all wet and covered in fish guts and whatever. So, the sheath is really goofy. It's made for a left-hander, I guess, because uh, right-handed doesn't uh, go on your belt. But is what it is. An old Rapala I've had since I was a kid. Made the sheath for it. And there's actually a little trout stamped in there. Um, not one of the better sheaths I made, that's for sure, but, uh, little Rapala, it works pretty good, um, I've had it a long, long time, uh, I got well, this and a set for Christmas, just one of these bait knives, um, uh, I was getting ready to throw this in my boat, and I figured I'd just throw it in this video, so, um, little serrations, um, uh, it's got a line cutter, I guess is what I use that for, but, just got a little plastic sheath. Works okay. Um, 
cuts paper and everything fine, so nothing crazy there, but that is my uh, fixed blade collection for 2022, the end of 2022, uh, beginning of 2023. There'll be another one in 2023, um, probably, you know, in January of 2024, it'll be the 2023 collection, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, we're already up to 120 subscribers. Uh, sorry, this is going to be a longer video, kind of a boring video for a lot of people, but uh, it's pouring rain outside right now, so not going to do anything outside, but uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm Tanner, and I'll see you in the next one.